So I've come down to Limerick today and I'm going to meet a producer of one of the most unique cheeses out there at the moment. His name is Dan Cahill and he produces a range of Cahill cheeses. How are you doing, Dan? Uh, not too bad, Nigel. Very welcome to Newcastle West, which is a little valley in between the Cork and Kerry Mountains. Um, we've got a wonderful selection of cheeses here for you to, to view today. That's brilliant. You might take us in and, and have a, a show us how you do it. So this recipe obviously goes, goes way back in the family, does it? It's something quite unique. Uh, that's great. I, my mother began um, soft cheese making back in the early 70s when she was a mother with seven children to feed. Um, this recipe is, is the original Irish porter cheese. Um, each, uh, one jug of porter is handcrafted in with a uh, basin of cord, blended in and carefully and with a considerable amount of patience, which would be impossible with a, an automated um, yeah. cheese system. So we've just come back inside and Dan, I must say, is very impressed with the whole production method. Um, it's quite unique. I really, really haven't seen anything like that before and it's, it's very interesting. Now all we have to do is, is um, taste some of these lovely cheeses. Oh my God. We might start off with the... Our wine cheese, it's, um, it's a, a red gourmet wax cheese. It's called after the caramel house in Arda where that cheese was revived maybe a hundred years ago. Um, it's a, a sharp sharp cheddar with a strong wine veined through it which gives the lovely red marble effect as you see there. It's very very pretty and when you say it goes back a hundred years so, so they were originally making this before and then it, it, it just sort of went out of fashion did it uh, or? That's correct. Um, uh, the Smith O'Brien house in Cahamile in Arda, one of the, the great um, country houses back in the you know, 100, 120 years ago, um, made that cheese and we basically revived the, the recipe back in the early 70s. Yeah. So I think all that remains now is maybe to taste one, Dan. Oh, okay. And would you traditionally serve this with crackers, brown bread, what, what's it best with? Uh, best served with crackers now. Yeah. It's a very colourful centrepiece in a, a cheese board. It is, I can, I can just see that it's, it's definitely very, you know, it would be a talking point at a dinner party it's or... Really it is actually a cheddar. It's actually a, a, an Irish cheddar mm. cheese. Yes. You get great flavour through it as well and I think, I think it's, it would definitely be a real talking point. Very interesting cheese. So moving on to our next cheese, which is one that I'm pretty excited about, I must say. It's a stout or porter cheese. Now this would probably be one of your signature cheeses, wouldn't it? That's great. It's a very popular cheese. Um, each cheese is individually made and blended with uh, a, a jug or a, a pint of Irish porter. This is the one that we saw earlier on getting get with the porter and then getting pressed down. That's correct. The porter is veined and crafted in with the... Uh, in with the, the soft cord. Yeah. Now I suppose, even though there is porter or stout in this, I suppose it wouldn't be too too wrong to, to have a wee glass of it with, with the cheese? No, it's um, the ideal drink for the Irish porter cheese is a glass, a glass of Irish stout, Irish porter as we see here in front of us. Mm. It's got a nice strong flavour to it, hasn't it? It really complements the cheddar very well. And always served with a uh, pint of stout. Always served with a pint of stout. Good news is it gets even better because we're going to move on now and taste the whiskey cheese. Now I didn't actually see this uh, being made, but I just wanted to ask you, obviously no marbling on this one, um, but it's still a cheddar and you've, you've flavoured with the whiskey, is it? Uh, that's correct. The process is very similar to the, the porter and wine cheeses, but this time the the whiskey is laced in with the, the cord. Mm. Uh, it's a simple cheddar um, entwined with, with the Irish whiskey to give a, a, a fabulous savoury com combination. And again, would this always be served, a, a glass of whiskey would be a, a classic accompaniment, would it? Served on, on crackers with a, a, a glass of whiskey. The, the whiskey we actually make with it is Kelbegan Irish whiskey. Yep. It's basically the oldest uh, distillery yep. in, in the country. Again, that wax is really helping to preserve it, isn't it? That's, that's uh, correct. Yeah. It's one of the oldest forms of uh, preserving the, 
the quality of the cheese. The Irish monks actually brought that recipe with them um, to, to Scotland um, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Mm. It's very nice. It's, it's, it's like a strong cheddar, but it's got that little aftertaste of whiskey, but it's certainly not overpowering, but you could see how it would really complement a, a glass of whiskey. Well, I must say that was a very enjoyable experience, Dan. You've got some great cheeses here, very unique. Um, thanks very much for having us here. Thanks, Dan. Um, all we have to do is wash that last little bit of cheese down. Slow you guys.